And after you leave a like, remember to smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. And remember to hit the notification bell so every time I post a video you can know right away. Subscribe, 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 subscribe! What's up my YouTube friends, real subscribers, everybody. Welcome back to another banger video. And I know for a fact it's the first time you're seeing me without a shirt. Unless I'm at the beach, so probably second time now. So, yes, so what I'm going to be doing right now is telling you guys my gym workout routine so i was literally in a gym you know running it phone over my ears minding my own business and then i got this idea of telling you guys my gym workout routine since i'm trying to make you guys know me more and you guys are probably looking at my abs and be like i didn't know you were that fit and yes i am fit i keep myself in the gym i've been in the gym for this year it's gonna make four years because i've been in the gym since 2019 but i didn't get all my abs i got like Two more abs in the gym because when I was younger, when I came to Canada, I already had four pack. And then I, when I started at the gym, I got six pack and now I'm at eight. So you guys already know what it is. Got some chest on me, got some muscle on me, got a lot of strength on me. You guys already know what it is. So I'll be telling you guys my gym workout routine because when I, when I go to the gym and like I change, I can always see somebody looking at me and be like, oh, you got to Oh, you got so much abs and I've been working out and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. It all depends on how your body really is. Because you can be doing sit-ups every day and you can never get no abs. And then you got people like me that do a couple sit-ups and then it's, it's easy for me to get abs. So it's hard for me to explain to guys like that, that it's how your body really is. So I literally just came home from the gym and I decided to do this video so you guys can know the workouts that I do. So first thing first, of course, when I get to the gym, I fold my bottle and grab my airport and everything. So I run on the treadmill. I'm, I'm not a fan of bikes. I don't know how people can like go to the gym and they can ride their bike or they have one uh, like stairs that they like walk up the stairs. No, I can't do that. And when I run, I keep it on the same level, not inclined like I'm running up a hill. So I keep my treadmill. When I start, I walk first, you know, like warm up. So I walk on the treadmill and I, for, for one minute and 50 seconds, I leave it at speed 25. That's like walking speed. And then when it's like at 150 to three minutes, then I leave, then I put it to 30. So I start walking faster. And then when it hits that three minute mark, then I put it to speed 50. That way it's like jogging. So I jog from five minutes, no, from three minutes, sorry, to five minutes, just to like get myself warm up. And then when it reached five minutes, then I put the speed to 60. And I ran that speed all the way till it's like 25 minutes. Because when I'm on the treadmill, I'm on the treadmill for at least 30 minutes. At least 30 minutes. Because every time I, I, I go to the gym, just a treadmill alone, I burn 300 calories. Because, you know, I got a, your boy got a lot of energy. Ever since I was young, everyone always said I'm energetic. And you guys are probably saying you just came from the gym and you're making high movements and you still got a bunch of energy. You should go back to the gym. No, I'm not going back to the gym. Maybe sometime next week. <laughs> so I run for a third... For, I'm on a treadmill for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, sorry. So I think I'm running for up approximately, I would say 25 minutes straight, basically. I could run longer, but I choose not to because there's a lot of people in the gym. So when I build my own house and I have my own uh, gym equipment and everything, then I can do exactly what I want to. Because when I go to the gym, I have to be, I try to be uh, on the machines at certain times. Because, you know, if I use that one, there's always somebody waiting for it. I was about to do this video in the gym, but I didn't want it to vlog in the gym. Because you're going to have people walking by, and I don't want to really want to make a video in the locker room. Because you have guys walking by, everybody walking by. You, you always have that one guy. Oh, why are you recording? Why are you, you know, I don't have no time for nobody to mess my video up. So I decided to come home and make this video so you guys can know my gym workout routine. If you didn't know I was in the gym, and you can be... I can inspire you to get some abs and put some muscle on you and put some chest on you and make sure you have some strength and make sure say, make sure if nobody trying to test you, make sure you, you got some muscle on you and you know you can square up and you can throw them punches with speed and power. You know what I'm saying? So after the treadmill, sorry, I was talking too much. 
after the treadmill, I do my legs. So some guys, when they go to the gym, they have like shoulder day, leg day, uh, arms day, ab day. Me, every time I go, I literally do the same thing over and over and over again. I work on a little bit of like everything. Sometimes I'll switch it up depending if I want to try a new machine, then I'll like switch it up. I wish I was at the gym so I can show you guys the type of equipment that I use. But unfortunately, the gym is like a public slash private place where not everybody want to be a part of videos and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't want to cause no problem in the gym. So as I've said, I wait it until I come home and I do it. So you got, I do my legs. Sometimes I work on my calves, but I don't really work on my calves as much because like I'm running for at least 25 minutes. So there's one machine in the gym where it's like you hold and then you like push up so I do like 100 of that you know and it's like your your leg and your lower back so like and when you when you pump you can like feel it if you go to the gym you know what I mean but it's hard for me to explain because I'm not at the gym showing you guys what I'm doing I can't I can't do this at the gym if you if, or I hope you guys understand so I work on my legs I do 100 like push-ups just with my feet just like that 100 so I normally do like 50 and then I take a break and I do 50 and I do like 100 pounds you guys are probably like this skinny guy can do that I may be skinny but I'm a lot stronger and faster than you are trust me so when I do that I do like 100 of that then after that depending on how busy the gym is I may work on my calves I can't say I do that every time I go there because as soon as I go, I'm trying to leave from one to the other one because there's always somebody in my way or somebody waiting to use the other equipment that I'm using. And I don't really want to say which gym I go to because people that live in the same city as me, they probably watch me and don't and don't like know me and then they'll probably see me and then me, I'm the type of guy. When I go to the gym, I'm, just, I'm trying to work out. If people see me and they talk to me, like it's okay, but and my main focus is working out physically you know what i'm saying so after that i don't really work on my calves as i said then after that i go to the abs section you guys already know what's going on so if you're in the gym you'll know that there's different like machines and slash equipments that you can use for your abs but for me i do sit-ups sit-ups sometimes i'll do like for the top but mostly I do for the bottom because there's like different sit-ups. So I do like 25, I do 100 sit-ups, 25 in between, 25 then break, 25 then break, 25 then break, all the way to 100. So mostly what I do, I don't have to work on like the top as you see, but for the bottom, I normally, there's one equipment that I can lay down and I can like swing my feet up while I lay down. So I normally go on that one and then there's one other equipment they have there where you literally for your abs you're like sitting down and you like push forward and you can feel the impact like they have different machines for abs but I do mostly sit-ups like me I'm the type of where I like for some reason I like manual stuff I like to do it myself I don't know why I feel like it's just better because you feel it better even though some equipment that's like position for like people that can't do it the machine itself just from you being there and you're moving you can literally like feel it right away but i'm the type of guy if i know what i'm doing then i like it manual so there's a couple of machines there that they use for abs you have one that like you literally like you kneel down and then you move your waist and then like give you like work on here this area but like, you know what I'm saying? So there's like different machines. I feel like it all depends on the type of body that you have. Like I've seen people there beating their self up, breaking their back, trying to get two abs. And then you got people like me walking by with eight abs. They're like, how oh, you have got that? I'm like, don't worry about me. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm feeling myself too much. Sorry about that. So after that, I do like the sit-ups, the 100 sit-ups. And then after that, you know, drink some water, walk around, blasting music through my ears. Then after sit-ups, I do biceps. So they have like weights that you like lift up 
they got the single ones that you can go like this and then they have the long one that you can like lift just like this but the long ones that they have like that stop at 65 pounds and your boy is way too strong to be lifting up 65 pounds i may not look it but trust me i am plus i got a lot of energy so they have one workout equipment there that you like sit down and then you you like curl like this for your bicep basically so there's one one of that and then there's other one where you go like singles but it's the machine itself not the hand lifting weights because the hand lifting weights i feel like it don't go all the way to the power that i want it to go so i have to use the machine so you know i sit down and i work on my biceps so 100 of that so 25 then break 25 then break everything i do is literally the same 25 then break. apart from the leg it's like 50 then break then 50 again then that's it 100 then after i do my biceps i go do my chest you know you guys already know what time it is i go go focus on my chest 25 break 25 break 25 break all the way to 100 again when i go to the gym i'm there for at least one hour and 30 minutes sometime so, uh, at least one hour but depending on how busy it is sometimes i can be there for one hour and 15 minutes because when i go there i literally go there to work out i don't really go to the gym to walk around and stand up and talk and make friends i go there to work out People that, if, if you guys are watching me and you guys ever see me in the gym, you guys already know. I blast music right through. I'm going there to work out physically. I'm not going there to meet no friends or talk to nobody. I'm there to work out and get out. So after I do my chest, then I do my back. There's a couple of equipment there for back. There's one that uh, you like pull down for your back muscle here. So you like pull down so back muscle and shoulder back muscle and shoulder you guys are probably wondering about my triceps here the same when i work on my chest it works on my triceps as well so after bicep then it's chest and triceps also so there's one equipment there where you work on shoulder basically your shoulders so i like pull down and then i can feel it here building my shoulder and then after that if i can go on that like if someone is using that one to pull down for shoulder then i there's other one that i can like pull back to work on my back so you know really like sit down and i hold it and i pull it 100 pound and the other one that i pull down like this is also 100 pound still 25 and break still 25 and break still 25 and break so shoulder and then back so every day i go i literally work on a little bit of everything you can you can you trust me you can get abs too if you work hard enough you can get it as i said this year me four years i'm in the gym consistently in the gym i used to go three times a week but i cut it down because i'm trying to be more i used to go monday wednesday and friday but now i only go mondays and thursdays because i'm trying to trying to balance everything in my life you know what i'm saying i'm trying to go to the gym i'm trying to get some work done i'm trying to get business done, and I'm, and I'm trying to get youtube done so i don't think i should go to the gym three times a week so i only go two times and i get a good workout so after i do my back then i go do my stretches and i already made a tutorial of the type of stretches that i do it's already on my channel you guys already know what time it is so that's basically it every day every time i go to the gym I work on a little bit of everything. Get yourself in the gym. Get your body right. You need to get your body right. Trust me. Don't do it for nobody else. Do it for you. If you if, if it's your first time, trust me, people are gonna look at you because they know when somebody is new to the gym and they look confused. Like if I'm at the gym and I see somebody like walking, I can see them like walking around, and then if I'm there minding my own business, I can see them like sort of corner eyeing me, hoping I will ask them, what's up? What are you trying to do but the gym that i go to there's no trainer there so you literally go there and on the workout machines they have like a picture of how you should do it and then they have like a qr code that you can scan 
And then it brings you to, I think, the gym's page. And then there's one instructor teaching you how to do it, how to do the workout. So me, the first time I went there, I, I looked at the picture and then I started doing it. Like when I first went there, all I was interested in is like, you know, like biceps. Because ever since I was younger, I always loved to work out. Like I've been having a lot of energy. So ever since I was younger, I always loved to work out. And I'm happy I see myself in the gym. Now that I'm older and consistent in the gym, I, I don't have like rest days. I don't have cheat day. I literally eat the same thing. I never had to change my diet. If you guys are wondering if, oh, oh how come you got abs? Do you change your diet? Nope. I eat the same thing. I eat the same amount. The only difference is I burn all those calories in the gym. I don't go to the gym to run on the treadmill for five minutes and then get up. No, I don't do that. I've seen a lot of people go to go to the gym and they're walking on the treadmill for at least five or ten minutes. And then they get up and then they walk around and then they do a couple stuff and then they get up. You're, you're wasting your money on your membership. Don't do that. If you're going to the gym, go to the gym and you, you, you work on your body that's why you're there you're there to like burn some fat burn some calorie you know like get yourself in shape all tuned up but for me i forgot to say this when i go there i don't lift a lot of like heavy stuff so i focus more on tuning to like tuning my body up and like shortening certain things i don't want like how i look with my muscle like this big now i'm saying like i got strength and that's all that matters because I want to be quick because there's no point of being extremely strong if you can't grab your opponent, if that makes sense. Because you can put a guy in front of me that's like way stronger than me. But if, if he ain't quick on his feet, <laughs> he ain't going to catch me. And you better believe my kicks and my punch have power behind it. You know what I'm saying? So that's not the point. But I'll, I'll, as I was saying, if you're going to the gym, you know, work on yourself. Me, I blast music like i don't the type of music i listen to it's like jamaican uh jamaican music that's like i would say like war music i don't listen to like love songs or r&b or hip-hop no, no 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 when you're going to the gym you need some like hardcore music to get you going you don't want to be in the gym and now all of a sudden you're running on a treadmill and then you're here guess me can you kiss me no, that don't make no sense. Or you're, or, 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 or you're, uh, you're working on your, you're laying down working on your chest, and then you're hearing some uh, Justin Bieber, baby, baby, baby. You know, no, 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 no. In my opinion, that's just wrong. If you're in the gym and you're working on yourself, you need that, you need that energy around you. So I, I would recommend you, you listen to like hardcore rap or something, because those soft music, they're not gonna motivate you in the gym. Trust me. So the type of music I listen to is like, like artists, like, like warring against each other. Like one artist saying something and the other one starts saying something. That's the type of music that I listen to. That's just how it is. So that's basically it. Then I stretch, I do my stretches and then I go in the locker room and then I admire myself all over again before I get up one last time. You guys already know what time it is. <laughs> Because I already know what time it is, and then I grab myself, and then I'm out. I honestly wish I could show you guys the machines that I'm talking about, but unfortunately, I can't do that in the gym. And it's going to look weird for me to walk around in the gym with my phone and going like, oh, you know, while there's people walking around and trying to work out. So in my opinion, I think that's wrong and that's unfair because that's like the same as me. Going to the gym, trying to mind my own business and work out. And then imagine one guy walking by and vlogging and I'm there trying to mind my own business and they're there. Like sometimes people uh, do that to me. I don't know why. I don't know if they know me or or whatever the case may be. Because I may be there minding my own business whether running or anything. And I can see somebody like trying to capture what I'm doing. But for me, it's fine. But not everybody like that. Because some people can literally snap on you for doing that. But I never once did that before. You know what I'm saying? So that's just how I work out. I keep myself in shape. As I've said, I'm consistent in the gym. And so should you. 
Listen to me, you're getting older and older and older. And the older you get is the more you should make life easy for yourself. The more you should be learning and developing and growing. And when I say growing, I mean mentally, not your body size. So I'm not expecting you to sit on a couch and grow big over time. That you can't really do anything. You should be taking care of yourself. Get yourself in a gym. So that's how my gym routine is. And it's been the same. Yeah, it's always been the same. Like, it's very rare that I will try something else. May I'll probably be there and I'm like, oh, if I get to the gym early. Oh, and I go to the gym in the evenings, not afternoons. Because afternoon is <laughs> YouTube time. You know what I'm saying? So when I go to the gym in the evenings, I'm trying to get out by 7.30. I'm trying to get out. If not, I'm trying to get out by 7.30. So, yeah, basically that. So by 8 o'clock, I should not be there. But sometimes it's busy and uh, people in the way and people waiting. And I don't like when it's like that. I like when I can go there and there's like nobody in my way. That way I can do everything I'm doing in one hour and 10 minutes and boom, I'm done and out. Because when people is there, trust me, I'm there for sometime probably two hours. You know what I'm saying? But... I don't really like that. I don't like when people are in my way when I'm trying to work out. So that's just how it is. And as I've said, it's very rare I may try. If I'm there and it's early and there's literally nobody there and I complete all my workout, I may like walk around and look at new things and then, you know, like try the new ones that I've never done before just to see if I may like it. And then I may add it to my list because that's obviously how it started. I walk around when I was new in the gym and I tried different things to see which one I like. Oh, if I can't do that one, then I'll do that one. If someone is using that one, then I'll do that one. That's how I do it. So every time I go to the gym, I know exactly what I'm doing and I know exactly which equipment I'll be using. And if one is occupied, then I just jump on the next one. Just like that. So that's my gym workout routine. I wish, I said it already and I'm going to say it again. I wish I had the machines to show you, but unfortunately, I don't. So, that's how I do it in the gym. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Your boy will be back doing more stuff. You go enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I post daily on them.